Starting a business is always a challenging endeavor, but it may be even more so in 2023. The recent collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, one of the largest lenders to tech startups, has sent shockwaves across the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Many startups have lost access to funding, credit and banking services as a result of SBV's failure. Moreover, the high interest rates that contributed to SBV's demise have also made borrowing more expensive and difficult for other businesses. These factors have created significant barriers and uncertainties for aspiring entrepreneurs who want to launch their own ventures in 2023. In this video, we will explore some of the challenges that starting a business in 2023 entails. Number 1. Funding. One of the major impacts of SVB's collapse is that it has disrupted the funding ecosystem for startups especially those operating in the U.S. or having exposure to SBB. Many startups have lost access to their bank accounts, credit lines, loans, and deposits that they relied on for their daily operations and growth plans. Some startups have also faced delays or cancellations of their fundraising rounds from investors who were also affected by SVB's shutdown. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more difficulty, uncertainty and risk in securing funding from alternative sources or surviving without external capital. Number 2. Cash flow. Another major impact of SVB's collapse is that it has created a cash flow crisis for many startups, especially those with high burn rates or low profitability. Many startups have struggled to pay their employees, vendors, suppliers and customers due to the sudden freeze of their bank accounts and transactions. Some startups have also faced legal issues or reputational damage due to their inability to honor their contracts or obligations. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more prudence, efficiency and discipline in managing cash flow and expenses. Number 3. Interest Rates a third major impact of SVB's collapse is that it has sparked a run on the truth about the Federal Reserve's interest rate policy. Many experts have blamed the Fed for causing SVB's failure by raising interest rates too aggressively and unpredictably, without any clear justification or communication. The Fed's actions have also triggered inflation fears and market volatility that could hurt the economy and consumer confidence. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more awareness, adaptability, and resilience to cope with the changing macroeconomic environment and its implications for your business. Number 4. Self-doubt. One of the challenges of starting a startup in 2023 is that you may have difficulty overcoming your self-doubt and uncertainty. You may face fears or anxieties about your abilities, skills, or decisions. You may also face imposter syndrome or comparison trap that make you feel inadequate or unworthy. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more confidence, courage, and self-compassion to overcome your self-doubt and uncertainty. Number 5. Competition. Another reason why startups failed in 2022 was being outcompete by other players in the market. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more differentiation, innovation and customer focus to stand out from the crowd and gain traction. It may also require more research and validation to identify gaps and opportunities in the market that are not already saturated or dominated by established players. Number 6. Regulation a reason why startups failed in 2022 was legal challenges or regulatory issues. Starting a startup in 2023 may involve more compliance and risk management to navigate the complex and changing legal landscape that affects different industries and regions. It may also require more awareness and adaptation to new laws and policies that may affect consumer behavior, data privacy environmental impact, taxation, etc. Number 7. Not technology. Technology has made starting a business easier and more affordable than ever before, 
but it also comes with its own challenges. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more technical skills, expertise, and infrastructure to develop, maintain, and secure digital products and services. It may also require more investment in cybersecurity, data protection, and backup systems to prevent data breaches, cyber attacks, or system failures that could damage reputation or revenue. Number 8. Dot customer demand. Customer preferences and expectations are constantly evolving and influenced by various factors such as social trends, economic conditions, environmental concerns, etc. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more customer research, feedback, and engagement to understand their needs, wants, and pain points. It may also require more flexibility and agility to respond to changing customer demand or feedback quickly and effectively. Number 9. Team management. Building a strong team is essential for any startup's success, but it can also be challenging especially for first-time founders or remote workers. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more leadership skills, communication skills, and emotional intelligence to recruit, motivate and retain talented people who share your vision and values. It may also require more collaboration tools, culture building activities and performance management systems to foster teamwork, trust and accountability among your team members. Number 10. Market fit. One of the most common reasons why startups fail is that they create a product or service that no one wants or needs. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more market research, testing and validation to ensure that there is a real problem to solve and a viable solution to offer. It may also require more customer segmentation, positioning and branding to appeal to the right target audience and differentiate from competitors. Number 11. Business model. Another common reason why startups fail is that they don't have a clear or sustainable way of making money. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more business planning, financial modeling and forecasting to determine how to generate revenue, control costs, and achieve profitability. It may also require more experimentation, iteration, and pivoting to find the best product market fit and value proposition. Number 12. Dot growth strategy. A third common reason why startups fail is that they don't have a scalable or repeatable way of acquiring and retaining customers. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more marketing, sales and distribution channels to reach potential customers and convert them into loyal users. It may also require more analytics, metrics, and feedback systems to measure performance, optimize processes, and improve customer satisfaction. But number 13. Timing. Timing is everything when it comes to starting a business. Sometimes, startups fail because they are too early or too late for the market. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more awareness of the market trends opportunities, and threats that affect your industry and niche. It may also require more adaptability and resilience to cope with unexpected changes or challenges that could disrupt your plans or goals. Number 14. Vision. Having a clear vision is essential for any startup's success. However, some startups fail because they lose sight of their vision or deviate from it too much. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more clarity, focus and alignment on your vision, mission, and values. It may also require more communication, transparency, and consistency to share your vision, inspire your team, and engage your stakeholders. Number 15. Talent. A challenge of starting a startup in 2023 is that you may struggle to find, hire, and retain the right talent for your team. You may also struggle to motivate, manage, and develop your talent as they work remotely or hybridly. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more recruitment, training, and culture building to create a high-performing and diverse team that shares your vision and values. 
Number 16. Marketing. You may have difficulty marketing your product or service within a limited budget. You may face saturation or noise in the market where there are many similar or competing offerings. You may also face changes or challenges in customer behavior, demand, or preferences due to the pandemic or its aftermath. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more research, experimentation, and optimization to find and reach your target audience and communicate your value proposition effectively. Number 17. Planning. You may have difficulty planning your business effectively. You may face uncertainty or ambiguity about your vision, mission, goals, or strategies. You may also face complexity or volatility in your market, industry, or environment. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more clarity, flexibility, and adaptability to plan your business realistically and efficiently. K. Number 18. Hiring. You may have difficulty hiring the right talent for your business. You may face competition from other employers who are looking for similar skills or qualifications. You may also face challenges in finding, attracting, retaining, or motivating your employees who share your vision, values, and culture. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more networking, recruiting, and nurturing to build a strong and loyal team for your business. Number 19. Validation. You may have difficulty validating your product or service idea. You may face assumptions or biases that cloud your judgment about your customer needs, wants, or problems. You may also face feedback or data that contradict your expectations or hypotheses. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more testing, learning, and iterating to validate your product or service idea effectively and efficiently. Number 20. Criticism. You may have difficulty dealing with criticism from others. You may face negative feedback or comments from your customers, investors, competitors, or peers. You may also face rejection or failure that can hurt your ego or morale. Starting a startup in 2023 may require more openness, resilience, and growth mindset to deal with criticism from others. Starting a business in 2023 is not an easy task. The collapse of SPV and the high interest rates have created many challenges and risks for entrepreneurs who want to pursue their dreams. However, these challenges are not insurmountable. With careful planning, creative problem solving, and resilient mindset, entrepreneurs can still find opportunities and solutions in the changing market. While it may be a terrible time to actually start a startup in 2023, starting a business may require more courage and perseverance than ever before, but it can also be rewarding and fulfilling.